Hey guys, it's Jasmine. I'm going to be reviewing this Estee Lauder gift with purchase set this week. You can see all the wonderful products that I'm going to be reviewing during this video. Please stay tuned and I hope you enjoy it. So this perfectly clean multi-action foam cleanser is supposed to be for all skin types, ideal for normal and combination skin. And it's also supposed to work as a purifying mask. So I'm just going to use it as a cleanser right now. Sweat. And I'm just going to add it into my normal routine. First of all, it smells great. Like, it's really fragrant. So if that would bother you, this is not for you. Because it smells like flowers. It works into a lather pretty well. It just feels a little thick. But it's not like hard to spread. It's not like it gives me extra problems. You kind of have to use like a little bit of a generous amount to get the lather. Like I like the lather of this. My face is all clean. You like my mask? You already know what time it is. That's my two year old right there. Thank you, honey. I like it too. Okay, so this is my face after the first cleanse. My face was a little dry right here. And a little tight. This is supposed to help firm your skin. So hopefully we can um and this is the resilience multi effect with the SPF in here. So where I am it is nighttime, but I'm just gonna use it anyway for the sake of the video. <sighs> okay, so this is what my face looks like after the first cleanse. I always do two cleanses, so I'm gonna use it one more time. So the first time I felt like I didn't use enough. I'm just gonna show how much I'm gonna use the second time. And I don't know if this is right, but like like a quarter size i'm definitely like a quarter size should be enough so what i'm gonna do is just put it on like a mask that's what it feels right to do so put it on like a mask and then just add water to it i tinted my eyebrows but i don't like take special care of them because i know i can always do it again <laughs> but you know you have to cleanse your face right right so whatever comes off is supposed to come off right right but normally it does last between five and seven days. Depending on how often you do this. Depending on how often you clean your face. Twice a day. You're closer to five days. to be clean honey like I don't know I'm stripping away my oil at this point I always do more on myself than I would on someone else so normally for me doing the second cleanse is when I really get in my neck So this, I feel like I worked it in the more, more the second time around and like really cleansed my skin. I actually love the way my skin is looking right now. I do. Like I can see myself in the mirror behind this and I'm liking my skin tone. It looks really vibrant. 
melanin popping or whatever. <laughs> Get the recipe sets off my face. For those of you who want to know, <laughs> how do you clean your face with that nose ring? I get the weirdest questions for the past six years that I've had this thing. <laughs> yes, it's been six years. I still get those questions. Did it hurt? Yeah. Yeah. It's like a film. I don't know if it's like a protective layer or what, but I'm also feeling kind of itchy. So maybe like the fragrance, you see where I'm turning like red around here? So I think my skin is reacting to the fragrance. This is real time, y'all. Real time reactions. Yeah, I'm feeling irritated like right around here. So I think I'm reacting to the fragrance in here. Let me see the package because I know they normally just like here. here it is guys so there it is in here you keep all the papers in the package it'll tell you turn this water off so you guys can hear me okay so there is water is the first ingredient then myristic acid glycerin benic acid potassium hydroxide palmitic acid sodium menthol lauric acid it's a lot of it's a lot of acids sucrose and a bunch of other stuff i'm trying to see anything here that i know that i'm allergic to no it's caffeine in here colon nope nope i don't know what i reacted to but hopefully it just like goes away hopefully it just like goes away okay just gonna keep going i'm gonna only use what's in here I'm like, I'm like, I should just don't put any rose water on. Just this is a true, this is a true review. I love how my eyebrows are staying up though. It's a little bit missing right there, but hey, if it had to go, it had to go. First, I am going to put the eye cream on. Oopsies. First, I'm gonna put this eye cream on. This is the Resilience Multi Effect Tripeptide Eye Cream, and this. It's supposed to be really good for lap lines, so I'm just gonna like. I should have did like one side and then left the other side like normal. Next time. I do feel it tightening like a little bit right here. I enjoy that feeling. It's a little bit like getting my lap lines up right here. So we'll say. It says for use in the AM and the PM around the eye area. So this is good for day or night. And then it also comes with this. The Resilience Multi-Effect Tripeptide Face and Neck face and neck cream can you guys see it probably not but i'll post a picture with everything in here so this is for normal and combination skin and this does have spf in it for again i love this smell definitely love the smell and it's light too like i don't feel like it's gonna clog my pores it doesn't feel comedogenic <laughs> or anything it feels very light and again it has a really nice like floral smell to it. it smells like you know a hug from an older lady at church <laughs> like it you know like one of the ones like it's real nice it's pretty okay <laughs> okay so I like the way this feels. I like the consistency of it. It's definitely a cream, but it goes on like so thin. It goes on really thin. 
It's a little greasy, so I'm gonna have to rub that in, of course. All the way, make sure I rub it in all the way, and maybe like pat my face dry. Ow. Ow, I feel like I moved the product on my eye, but we're just gonna keep going. I like to pat it in sometimes. <laughs> Push it in my skin. Okay, so I feel good right now. I feel like the irritation is going down right here. Like with me patting my skin. It's calming those nerve endings. It's a little greasy for me, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm gonna see. I feel like as the way that my skin is normally throughout the day, it gets a little oilier. But I'm going to see how well this works for oil control. It doesn't specifically say anything about oil control. And I know that there's an SPF in here. So for this to be SPF 15, broad spectrum, by the way, I forgot to say broad spectrum. It just doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel heavy. And I can appreciate that. I really like that. And I love the smell. Like, personally, like I said, I like the smell. But anybody who's, like, put off by smells, you may not like this because it definitely smells like flowers in here. Okay, so the mask does say to apply on wet skin from the center out. All right, but I didn't do that. I feel like I got better results when I did it dry. Like when I put it on dry and then added water, I liked it so much better than when I like, like wet my hands and had like the wet mixture and put on the wet mixture. The Brazilian's multi effect is supposed to plump your skin, which could be good, but like I already have big cheeks, so I kind of do feel like, like plump a little bit, like, you know. Okay, and this, the eye cream was also supposed to be good for dark circles. So, we'll definitely see how this goes. Honestly, I probably won't keep using the cleanser because it made me feel itchy. I like to try to make things work. So, I may, like, mix it with turmeric. I've been doing that with a lot of my skincare lately. Just mixing, like, turmeric powder inside of it. Just to get the brightening effect. These two, I think I definitely like these. And I'm going to keep these. This is supposed to be a 60-day supply that's in here right now. This day and night and then this just in the daytime but I think I'm going to continue to use just these two because I really like these so that's all for the skincare portion and the rest I will be talking about in a little while so the makeup that comes in the bag is this double wear I think this is a lip liner yep a double wear lip pencil I don't know if this will focus nah looks like it's not gonna happen but this is a double wear lip pencil okay guys so this i've already marked in the center of my hand it's not my nude it's like a bunch of shades lighter than my nude i don't know if i'm gonna put that on <laughs> probably not and then next we have this color that's on the outside this is color 223 from pure color in the high luster light sculpting lipstick this is called candy did i say 223 candy Okay, well, I just did. 223 candy. I'll show you what it looks like in the tube. Pretty, feminine, powerful. Let's watch. Give me a second. I'm going to put some chapstick on and I'll be back. Okay. So, the candy. I'm going to swatch it on. So, if you like my skin tone or like similar to my skin tone, you can see how it may look on us. I don't really like the color. <laughs> that's just me I also don't have a liner on so maybe this would work like if I put on a dark liner or something but right now I just wanted to just show you guys the color like in its raw form see I just don't like it that much <laughs> but this one that I'm about to put on is called tiger eye that's the other color that comes in here and this is the last item that comes from the bag I actually really like this color that's this color right here so I am gonna try that one on as well I like this color I do I really like this color this is real um gold member to me I like this color I feel like I'm popping like like I said so with the right brown liner, I feel like this would be a really cute color. I like it for my skin tone, but it's kind of hard to see without the liner. So let me go put some liner on and come back and show y'all. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the chestnut liner from MAC. It definitely toned it down a little bit, right? Okay, so this is a winning look. Like I like this. I like this color. It's real natural. 
It's the same one, Pure Color Envy High Luster Light Sculpting Lipstick, but this one is 111 Tiger Eye. But overall, like the moisturizer was a bit thick. The SPF, I feel like, like, I feel like it's a good moisturizer, okay? I feel like my skin, my skin does feel a little bit tighter and lifted, but it's just like a little like leftover greasiness that I'm dealing with like on my nose and my forehead and I'm already oily so I like for my moisturizers and stuff to have like oil control in them sorry about that I like for my moisturizers to have oil control in them when they can like this would be fine if you don't mind having like those little block pads that you have throughout the day that may be good for this if you're oily skin like me but I feel like most products that have SPF in them are a little greasy I don't know if there's any way to solve that <laughs> so um as far as these colors are concerned I do really, really like this tiger eye that I have on right now. The nude that is in the middle, like I said, is not my nude. So I don't know what I'll be using this for, but I'm not getting rid of it. <laughs> so it's something, I'll find something to do with it. But for a natural look like this, my liner, like I said, was chestnut from MAC. I had to go borrow that from my kit. I love the color. And it seems to be really moisturizing. I've had it on for a couple minutes. Yeah, and my lips are not like doing that weird thing with the like creasing. And what else? The eye cream was good. I think I like the eye cream. I think I really like the eye cream. My, my two favorites out of this whole entire gift set would be the eye cream and the tiger eye lipstick. These two are my top favorites. But this cleanser, I have to I have to be completely honest. It made me itchy. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna recommend that. I just I feel like something in it was an irritant and it irritated me. And I'm still kind of dealing with it underneath my skin right here. Just put the eye cream back on for me to go to sleep. Yep, all this is, I'm gonna cleanse my face one more time and get all this off just to put the eye cream back on because I want this to be a thorough review. Like, you know, like I spent a little bit of time thinking about it and this is what I like and what I didn't like. So the cleanser is a definite no. Just gonna put that out there. The cleanser is a definite no. And the lipstick is a yes, definitely yes. I love this. It's such a natural color. I love it. Okay. So that's it for now. As far as the bag, this bag is so cute. Like, I don't even want to use this for makeup. Like, I don't know. Like, I might carry my cards in here from now on or something. I don't know. This bag is really, really cute. And it comes with this little tab right here where you can take any of the Zodiac stickers that are in here, right? And put your Zodiac sign on there. How cute is that? They also have stickers on the other side. They're like stars and moons and like constellations and stuff. And it's totally up my alley. Definitely up my alley. So right now, I think I'm going to use these stickers for the back of my iPad. <laughs> I'm not even going to put one on the bag. It's funny, but, um, yeah, no. I like this bag. It's really cute. It's so cute. Like, that's a thumbnail.